Go grocery shopping anywhere in Georgia and you're likely to find this logo prominently displayed. The Georgia Grown program, which promotes and markets the state's number one industry, recently welcomed hundreds of their members to its annual symposium in Macon for a chance to catch up with old friends while also making some new ones. You get to network with so many other agritourism, Georgia Grown companies, um, and you get to see what they do, get to talk about what you grow on your farm or events they do, and you get to work together, learn from each other. Uh, we, we learn new laws, uh, new procedures, uh, things we need to keep up to date on. And it's not just information and contacts this program provides its members, but also plenty of credibility, as the Georgia Grown brand has built up quite a reputation in a short amount of time. It is just a brand that is well known now, I think. It's took, I know it's been seven or eight years now since we've had it. Our commissioner has uh, made that brand well known, and I think now people see it in a store and they go to it. So with produce, we're seeing that now people are no longer buying just oranges or apples. They're buying besties from Valdosta, Setsumas, and they're buying branded products. So our produce, uh, our produce farmers are, are branding their products. Our agritourism operators are telling people the authentic story of agriculture and educating people about the importance of agriculture. Agritourism was the focus of a number of different workshops at this event. That underscores just how important it is to spread the story of agriculture to the youth in Georgia. Let them see where their produce is grown. Uh, teach them ag education. We call it agritourism. But get them to the farm. Let them see where their strawberries are grown, where their produce comes from. But let them see it growing. Let us see it planted. Let it see the whole process. Speaking of children, Georgia Grown has partnered up with a number of school systems to provide fresh, locally grown produce for their cafeteria. And while that's certainly beneficial to the students, it's also incredibly valuable to the state's economy as well. So not only do children uh, have physical ties to those farmers, they have the ability to see the farmer that grew their product, and it becomes much more real to them. But it's also important for our local economy. So that money stays in the state of Georgia. It cycles through because those farmers then turn around and pay their staff and employees, and they go grocery shopping in their hometown. So it's, it's much better for our state's economics as well. So while the program might not even be a decade old, it's already showing its value to the agricultural industry and the consumers. We like to tell people that a rising tide lifts all boats. So by every company utilizing that Georgia grown product, it allows our consumers to know that their products are local and that money's staying in the state of Georgia. It allows our farmers to have a, a pride in the state and the, the, we're the best state, we're nature's favorite state. And it also allows our retailers to showcase local foods because that's more and more important every day to consumers as well. Reporting from Macon, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.